Hey, get back in your car. Get back in your car. In a Reno Walmart parking lot, a dramatic Hands confrontation up. between police Hands up. and 29-year-old Nagazi Zabiri, wanted by the FBI for a chilling kidnapping that crossed state lines. He's wanted for kidnapping, rape. Zabiri refusing to get out of his car, threatening to hurt himself. No one's going to hurt you. As long as you come out with your hands visible, no one's going to hurt you at all, man. The video, heavily redacted by Nevada State Police, obtained in a public records request by NBC affiliate KGW. Sitting in his lap, according to an FBI affidavit, was one of his children. Um, he's got a kid in the front seat with him right now. The tense standoff uh, unfolding over the course of an hour on July 16th. He's walking to the back of the vehicle. Zaviri eventually surrendering, his legs and feet visible as he's taken into custody. Child has been removed, child is safe. This arrest just one day after police in Oregon responded to a disturbing 911 call. They discovered a makeshift cinder block cell with a metal door and a singular light bulb above for light. Inside the makeshift cell, a single chair, two bottles of water and a fan. Federal prosecutors say this is where Zuberi held a woman he kidnapped from Seattle. She alleges she was kidnapped, shackled, sexually assaulted, and locked in this makeshift cell. The woman escaped, the FBI says, by punching her way through this locked door. The bloodied woman later flagging down a passing motorist and calling 911. When searching his home, the FBI discovering handwritten notes and plans to dig a hundred foot hole. Zuberi has been linked to at least four sexual assaults in four other states. We believe there may be more victims. Police seeking information about potential other crimes in 12 states where Zuberi, who had multiple aliases, has lived. Zuberi, who pled not guilty to all charges, is currently being held in jail in southern Oregon, where in August he attempted to stage his own escape, according to the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. Trying to break the glass of his cell window, his federal trial in this case, now scheduled for December. Stephen Romer, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.